This morning we continue our coverage of a Commonwealth in crisis. Governor Ralph Northam has basically disappeared from the public eye after a racist photo surfaced on his 1984 EVMS yearbook page. Meanwhile, his right-hand man, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, could soon become the subject of an intense investigation following an allegation of sexual assault. Attorney General Mark Herring, who was the third in line to the governor's mansion, says that he's working to regain the public's trust after admitting to wearing blackface in college. And local state senator Tommy Norman is also taking heat after Tenny Aside learned he was an editor of a VMI yearbook, which includes racist photos. Tenny Aside's Kiana Patterson begins our coverage this morning in the newsroom. Kiana. Well, Don and Katie, one thing is consistent. House Democrats still want Governor Ralph Northam to resign. The two senators and seven Congress members released a statement together yesterday. But in that statement, the group does not call for the resignation of Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax after a woman claims he sexually assaulted her at the Democratic National Convention back in 2004. Now, Fairfax says that encounter was consensual, but Democrats say those allegations need to be taken very seriously. The statement also does not call for the resignation of Attorney General Mark Herring after he admitted to wearing blackface at a party in college. Instead, Democratic leaders say Herring must be ready to answer questions if he wants to regain Virginians trust. Now, lawmakers say they will continue to have conversations as more information comes out. In the newsroom, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side. Republican Majority Leader State Senator Tommy Norman of James City County is the latest leader to become embroiled in controversy. Yesterday, 10 on your side learned Norman was an editor of the 1968 Virginia Military Institute yearbook. It includes racist images and slurs. Norman is adamant he was not in the pictures and didn't take any of them. Norman says he was one of seven editors and it was not his responsibility to proof it. However, he tells us he regrets it and doesn't make any excuses. I was not aware that an N-word had ever been used in it, and I didn't see that when I even went back and looked through it here very recently, and that was, was news to me. Uh, had I been aware of that, I absolutely unequivocally would not have condoned that. That was not the way that I was raised, uh, and it would be intolerable. Still, Norman says being an editor of a yearbook that includes racist photos is not the same as wearing blackface. House Speaker Kirk Cox, a fellow Republican, agreed. He came out with a statement saying, in part, it's unfair to compare assisting in the production of a yearbook to the other revelations from this week. We're going to stay on top of the latest political developments in Richmond and bring you any updates on air and online at wavy.org.